Hey everybody, it's Travis here. Uh, we were asked by a customer as to whether we could use a title block that was used in AutoCAD previously in a Revit model. Oftentimes, uh, when offices are making the switch from CAD to a BIM workflow, they want to reuse some of the elements that they've been using for the past little while. So today we're going to take a look at how you can take a title block out of a DWG and create a title block family in Revit architecture. So what we're looking at here is just a simple title block in AutoCAD. There's some line work in here and as you can see I've got some filled regions so we're going to be using that for our border and when you look in the, the bottom here we've got some information. Now some of this information we're not going to need in our, our Revit family because we're going to be replacing it with labels that can change parametrically. So we're going to take out some of these titles here because they're not going to be static. But what I'm going to do is leave the headings because this is stuff that's going to remain the same throughout all the project files. So anything that's black text I'm going to remove and I'm going to remove the sheet number as well. So now that I have a title block pretty much set up the way that I'd like it to, maybe I'll just take out these lines though probably not necessary either we'll save that as we need it it's already saved with the title block file name that I want now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to Revit architecture and I'm going to create what's called a new family so to do this for a title block we want to use a new template and right now I'm in the English folder I want to choose English Imperial and I'm going to come down to the title blocks folder so there's always already one in here for a D size sheet I'm going to choose this template and you can tell it's a template because it has the file extension RFT so when I open that you see I've got a rectangle in here this is essentially the dimensions of my sheet so 24 by 36 now to bring in the pre-existing title block I'm going to come over here to insert and I'm going to go to import CAD and I'm going to locate this title block here. So now that I have it, I'm going to change, oh, I'm going to leave these as inches because that's the way I want it. And I'm just going to hit open. But before I do that, maybe I'll just put my black and white here instead of getting a cyan color. So I'm going to hit open and in comes my title block. So now you see when I zoom in, I've got this information and if I click anywhere on this title block it's all one one object one layer so now you'll want to add things like labels so you can come over to the create panel and choose label and in here we can put um, any information you want really so when you click in the space it's going to give you the edit label dialog box and so what were we looking at here with the client so we'll put in client name and we'll add it to our parameter name list and we'll hit OK and now we can keep adding these if we want so I'm just going to hit cancel and hit escape now I'm going to move this around and adjust it so it's nice and centered so you'll want to repeat that process for the other elements of your title block as well so we'll come down here and we'll choose sheet number and we'll add that and we'll hit OK and again I'm gonna hit escape and just center that nicely so now I have all these labels now when I've got that finished I'm just gonna come up I'll zoom out zoom to fit and then I'll come up to the application window and hit save as and I want to change this to a family and I'll just save this in my Travis folder I'm gonna call it title block I design So now, instead, when I'm in my project, instead of just using the uh, typical sheets that come with the program, I can go in and access this sheet as my title block family, and it'll repeat, it'll have our branding, and it'll have the rest of the information that we need to filled out in here. So if I use this on AO101, that's great for that drawing number, and I can repeat this in A102, and I just change that information on the fly in each sheet. So that's a handy little trick in creating your own title blocks from pre-existing data. 
and hope you get to try this out soon. Thanks for watching. Bye now.